The very reason that Evernote is the most popular app in the productivity space, it can be used as your digital bank. It's easy to capture any information you want, and it has more than 200 million users. If you have not heard about Evernote, do check them out. This can be used as your second brain, meaning you can remember and retrieve anything or everything. Evernote will work as your digital bank, but the key is to start using it effectively, which means having a proper process as well as a workflow. So today I'm going to talk about a few features or rather use cases that might have got overlooked by our users. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to showcase six use cases of Evernote. First is writing in Evernote, then scan handwriting, sharing notes in notebook, presentation mode, how to send emails to Evernote, and using Evernote for Gmail. Writing in Evernote. Over the course of Workday, you create a lot of content, drafts of documents, meeting notes and agendas, checklists, and so on. Evernote gives you a central workplace where you can create all of this content. Let's look at it how to write in Evernote. In this example, we will create an agenda for an upcoming meeting. Click the plus new note and let's enter a title for it. Let's add a headline for our agenda items. I will add bold and underline to help it stand out. I will create the bulleted list like this and then I'm going to create a numbered list under the product ideas. The numbered list is the tool list and now I will add my items. If I want to bring attention to a certain item, I will select and highlight it. If I want to add items that needs to be covered during the meeting, I can always add checkboxes for them. Just add checkboxes from the toolbar and add items for follow-up, steps in the process, and so on. You can also add your attachments like PDFs, pictures, and other relevant documents that need to be discussed. Just drag them and they are permanently stored in Evernote. You can open your attachments directly from Evernote and any changes made to it will be saved here directly. Tables can visually arrange information inside of your notes. Just click on the table button, select the rows and columns you require. And in this example, I will add the names and roles of the people required in the meeting. Evernote will help you in recording your voice with the built-in audio recording function. Just click on the microphone and start your recording and then hit the record button. Once you are done with the recording, click save and your audio and your recording is directly saved into your note. You can play back later when you need to. You can simply take a picture of any handwritten note or a diagram with your built-in Evernote scanner. Evernote will search into all your pictures and is a great way for retrieving all the information. Not only handwriting, but Evernote will also search from your text documents, any word processor, PDFs, or even business cards. With Evernote, it's easy to share notes as well as your notebooks. Let's share a content in Evernote using a use case. So I want to share my meeting agenda note with my colleagues so that they can update it. To share a note, I just click the share button on the upper right corner of the note. I will add the name of my colleagues. I can also enter any email address, choose the level of permission with the people I'm sharing this note, add a message about this note, and then click send. Sometimes I want to share a notebook for further edits or changes to my notes. I want to share my newsletter. I select the notebook and hit share, include the names and email addresses as required, change the permissions and hit send. They now have access to the contents of this notebook. You can use Evernote to streamline meeting prep 
and save a ton of time. Let's say I have an upcoming meeting with my work fellows and I'm going to use the built-in presentation mode to present the agenda items. You can run the presentation mode on your computer or even iOS device, or you can connect to a projector or a large monitor. To launch the presentation mode, I will click on the note and then click on the presentation mode button. Presentation mode automatically inserts screen breaks and formats text, so your note gives a great look and feel. To move through the presentation, I will just hit the space bar or use the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard. I can change the color of the laser pointer, toggle through the dark mode, and even change the size of the text. I can also change the screen breaks by clicking on the presentation icon and clicking on the blue lines. You can forward your emails directly to your email to Evernote address. To find your Evernote email address, if you are a Mac, go to the help menu and choose account settings. If you are Windows, go to your My Account page. The email address will be displayed in the web page. Anything you forward to that email address automatically becomes a note in Evernote. I can copy and paste the Evernote email address in the to or recipient line from my email. Any email that has been forwarded to the Evernote email will automatically become a new note. Now I can move that note to any notebook I choose. Evernote and Gmail are very well integrated and work seamlessly. Let's say you have an email from your mom on a recipe that you would like to save it in your recipe notebook in Evernote. Simply open your email, use the Evernote icon on the right, select the notebook, family recipes, select conversation from mom, add your comments, and hit save. Now you can see your email and the contents in Evernote. Thanks for going through this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you're new and feel free to leave your comments on this video. I would love to get your thoughts as to how did you feel about this video or any reactions on it. But before I sign off today, I will request you to visit my website mynextgendigital.com and check out some of the free resources I have provided like content management template or list of some useful apps regarding productivity. Also, you can purchase Evernote customized dashboards for a small donation plus some Amazon products that I recommend. See you next Thursday and thanks for your time.